The grommet is part of your small engine's fuel system. It fits into an opening in the fuel tank. It seals the opening so fuel can't leak. It has two openings in it, one for the incoming fuel line and one for the return fuel line. Over time, the grommet can harden and shrink or crack. This will cause fuel to leak from the tank. The grommet should be immediately replaced if fuel is leaking to avoid a dangerous fuel fire. Replacing the grommet is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the air cleaner lid. With the air cleaner lid removed, now I can remove the air filter. Next, I'll remove the air filter base. There's a plastic cover snapped on top of the carburetor. I'll go ahead and remove it. Next, I'll crack open the tank cap to relieve any pressure in the tank. And now I can remove the fuel lines from the carburetor. I'll take note of the location of each of the lines. I'll release the cable linkage from the wire linkage. Now I can remove the grommet from the tank. I'll use a small screwdriver to carefully pry the grommet away from the tank. As I do this, I'll be careful to not puncture any of the fuel lines. and I'll pull the fuel line assembly away from the tank. Now I can begin installing the new grommet. First, I'll remove the fuel return line. To install it into the new grommet, I'll use a little bit of two-cycle oil to lubricate it. Then I can insert it through the grommet. This is a good time to also inspect your fuel lines and replace any cracked, brittle, or hardened fuel line. Now I'll move to the incoming fuel line. It's made up of two pieces of line and a plastic connector that goes into the grommet. I'll go ahead and remove them from the old grommet. Again, I'll lubricate the fuel line with some two-cycle oil and insert it into the new grommet. And now this assembly is ready to go back into the tank. I'll apply a little more of the two-cycle oil around the grommet, and now I can install it back into the tank. And again, I'll use a small screwdriver to help me install it into the tank. And like before, I'll be careful that I don't puncture the fuel lines with the screwdriver. Now I can reinstall the carburetor. I'll loop the cable through the wire linkage. With the cable in place, now I can reconnect the fuel lines. First the incoming line, and then the return line. I'll reinstall the base to the carburetor, and secure this assembly to the engine. And I'll reinstall the carburetor cap. Now I'll reinstall the air filter. I'll place it on the base with the flange pointing out, and I'll make sure that it makes a good seal around the base. I'll line the air cleaner lid with the air filter and secure it in place with the knob. And that's how easy it is to install a new grommet on your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.